Hi guys, so welcome to Mount Bryan. I've just got up and then we're gonna go for a morning hike. And then we've got the fire around here. The big shelter that we built just a couple of months ago. And all the motorbikes are here. The dog. And now I can I can see out back of luxury, that's what I wanna call it. Hi guys, so it's 3 degrees out here and I've just got up on the top of this little hill and we're going to go for a little look around. So, I'll see you later. Hi guys, so this is not an ideal vantage point to see deer and animals all there and my dog's picked off a scent. Now she's gone off. She had a set of There's one bounce up on the hill over there, Dad. I'm not sure if you can see it, but some roos have just been bouncing over the hill just there. Hi, oh, guys. So, we've just seen some roos just hopping down that way. Um, and I was hoping I'd get to film them, but I couldn't. Because I hopped away before I could get there. Um, and it's still very cold, it's still 30 degrees. My dog wants to go after it. Look at the um, And at oh, 20 minutes or so. Um, we saw just a few rooms out in the flat. So, hi guys. Um, it's an ideal vantage point because it's you look out over the flat, the wind's blowing in your face, and the animals are much smaller. There's something you can do to go spot animals if you want to have a look at you. The animals are sheltering down there, the valleys and stuff. The wind shelters. So I'll see you later. So hi guys. I'm not sure if you can see the old big mob of roots down there. There's a big old red down there. Um and we're really on a really trying to look for deer and goats today. So the roots down there. They're pretty big roos from a distance they look pretty big so if you got up close to them they must have been like pretty much taller than me. So we're just going to keep having a little look around. We might go over the next couple of hills and then we'll come back down, have breakfast and maybe get the bike started and go for a little ride around. Of um, goats, so they're the biggest swamp we've seen in a while. Um, they're beautiful. You can see their beautiful coats that they've got on them. They all got nice black coats, nice white coats, and the goats have thinking about making a move. I reckon. Uh, and I'll see you later. Hi guys, I'm on my TTR 110. I'm gonna go for a little hook. We're just gonna go see some wildlife if we can. The dog's probably gonna run alongside us. It's gonna be a fun day. Maybe then come back to camp after maybe a uh, few like, maybe an hour or so of riding. Maybe get the petrol back in and maybe just sit around in the campfire and just have a little chat about what we're going to do for the rest of the day. See you later. Hi guys, so I'm just going to climb the big hill there at the Widowmaker and I'm going to have to um, hit it pretty hard and I hopefully I don't fall off and kill myself. 
I'm just gonna go check my camera trap. I showed you the other one and I made it at the Widowmaker. How did that sound? And I can, after I come and check my other camera trap, I'll come back, have my lunch, and then maybe go for a little looky look around. Cause he did see. Um, a few roos and I want and we should go see them again and that's the path all the way through there hi guys so we're down in the creek here and that is my camera trap right there so let's go grab it Tillabilly! She's a bit of a cheeky dog, isn't she? Come on, Tilly! You can get through there, can't you? You're a blue hill! I guess... I guess we just have to leave you there, Tilly! Oh my god, she doesn't listen, does she? She'll come, she'll come eventually. She knows what's to do. All right, so see ya. Bye, guys. Hi. So, I'm just cooking here. I'm just gonna be baking around for a little bit of lunch. And then after, we're gonna go hop for the fire camp, maybe. On the next couple of blocks, our mate is there that we might go and see. Um, and this bacon is pretty good. So I'll see you guys later. Hi, so we just raced over here, my dog was barking. We thought it was like a big animal or something like a deer, but it was actually in fact this little beautiful echidna here. It's got five of spikes. My dogs came in to check it out. And as you can see, when it sticks its spikes up, it acts as a defensive armour from like maybe even eagle or a fox wanted to eat it. It would just go pick and spike it. The only way you can get to it is the belly because that's not protected so they'd curl up in a ball if a fox or a big emu or something they wanted to try to get it or something the good, the good animals. hi guys so we're on the edge of this massive cliff and it goes down into the middle of nowhere and it's pretty windy up here i'm not sure how cold it is
Sitting. Check it and then I'll hopefully be able to show you. 